day six. It's a new dusk and a new night, and we're feeling a little bit like James Brown because we have got a trade right here telling us to get in. First pair, you're a US dollar. Orange high Kanashi candle, price lower than the close there. You can see that big price line, but we got the awesome off set up below zero. Even though it's been trending up, that's fine, still below zero. And of course, we can see the price is below that moving average. So this will be our first entry option to consider. But let's see if there are any others out there that want to compete with it. Waiting for some of these other subs to come through as well, like this Australian dollar, Japanese yen. It's a couple like this where orange candles are coming, but all we need is a quick switch to blue. And we're going to buy them. Cad Swiss Frank, same story. It's been coming down quick. Three orange candles. Turn blue. Give us this kind of run. That's what we're wanting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Swiss Frank, Japanese yen set up as well. Why do I have a feeling that one day soon the yen is going to have a really weak day? And we are going to get signals across the board on every currency pair against it. They're lining up. Euro Aussie dollar throws its hat in the ring as well. Again, it's a sell trade against the euro. So now we've got two charts that want us to get into sell trades for the euro. One against the US dollar, one against the Aussie dollar. Any more contenders? Not including Marlon Brando, obviously. Euro CAD doesn't quite get there. Thought we might have seen this turn orange as well. People are not excited about the euro too much. So no other signals. We are down to the euro US dollar and the euro Aussie dollar. To me, both these trades are looking not too bad. I mean, what a run this has been. If we could get one of those, very motivational. But at the same time, euro US dollar, this is a nice retracement. And so to flip on that, well, that seems pretty good as well. Can't take both though. That would be pretty unreasonable, I think. Risking 3% of our capital to sell off the euro. Doesn't sound like a lot 3%, but that adds up. Imagine doing it over six currency pairs. It's like 9% or something. I don't know. All right, so how are we going to break the deadlock? We're going to use a classic method, and that is we are going to look at the Australian dollar, US dollar pair. So we'll ignore the euro part of it, and we'll pull up that chart. And all we're looking for is whether the current candle today was blue or orange. As a non-colorblind individual, especially when it comes to blue and orange, I can tell, hopefully you as well, can see that this was a blue candle. It's the Australian dollar, US dollar pair. So the Australian dollar had a stronger day, or at least according to the high Kanashi, it's on a stronger run. As we're going to be selling off the euro, we do want to sell it off against the stronger currency pair. And as according to this method, that is the Australian dollar. That's all we need to know to get in there. Hopefully this mighty Australian dollar crushes down the euro. So we can sack off those other charts and focus in on the euro Australian dollar here. Let's take a peek at that average true range. Average true range showing at 105.6 pips. That'll be the distance to our stop loss. $5,847.29 in the bank. Three sub trades as always, which does lead to a little bit of rounding up, but it's not all bad, especially if we get a winner. Here it is, exactly how we've calculated that risk. So we can get into three sell trades with 0.5% capital risk each. We are in like Captain Flynn. So let's set that stop loss just like we always dreamed, 1,056 points and take profit. This is our sub trade A, one times ATR, both sides of that coin. Sub trade B, we know it's going to be 1,056 points for the stop loss and it'll be 2,112, twice the amount of our stop loss towards the take profit for that. Don't think we're going to see that appear on the screen, so I'll have to zoom out for that one. There we see it. And sub trade C, finally, better set that stop loss, modify that one in, but then let's customize it with a trading stop loss and then punch that as well, 1,056 points. That is everything set and ready to go. How about a winner on this one? Would be nice, would be very nice. Find out how it's going tomorrow. Day seven and our trade looking not too bad, you know. Just over a third of the weight towards the take profit. Nice orange candle, no upper wick to it. Low swap cost, only four cents so far in each of them, 12 cents total. High Kanashi still orange, awesome oscillator still below zero, price still below the moving average. No action for us to take on this trade. Let's see if we've got any other entries out there. The Euro US dollar trade that we could have taken, that'd be doing about the same as well. Nice little run down from price with this orange candle. Both trades would have been good so far. And the pound US dollar is giving us a buy signal now. We've got the option for that because we're not in a trade for either of those currency pairs. Not the most convincing blue candle, but a blue candle nonetheless with a buy signal from the awesome oscillator and from price being above the moving average. 
see if there's any other signals out there otherwise we'll take this one australian dollar swiss franc given a trade can't get into it but it's somewhat positive for us it would be a buy trade for the australian dollar selling off the swiss franc which is something very similar to what we're doing we're selling off the euro in favor of buying the australian dollar same with the australian dollar japanese yen it's lined up giving a buy signal there canadian dollar swiss franc coming through with a buy trade as well candle turns blue again it's got a lower wick so it doesn't feel like the most convincing but it is a signal we haven't got any trades open for the cad or the swissy let's keep roaming those charts euro cad is coming through with a signal again it's right about the price that we got in previously before it kicked us out two candles later we didn't kick us out we had to manually close it for the change in high kanashi candles but now it's giving a sell signal again can't take it but interesting to know that it's there euro great british pound with a sell signal as well plenty of signals to sell off the euro you could really load up if you wanted to i'm buying everything but the euro mad people the great british pound swiss franc coming with a buy signal in favor of the pound as well a lot of signals out there and quite a few against the japanese yen i won't show them all because i've already decided on the trade but there was the euro yen the us dollar yen the pound yen now the new zealand dollar yen there might have even been another one or two out there we saw these teeing up well the question i'm sure some of you may be wondering now is well how has he decided on what trades he wants to go in on we haven't seen any chart comparisons of who's had a stronger day who's best to go in on and the reason for that is because we've got three trades that we can get into the pound us dollar the cad swiss franc and the new zealand dollar japanese yen this allows us to get into these trades without doubling up on currencies and that is something that we give priority to over whether one had a stronger day than another doing some crazy insane round robin tournament of strength we go with the combination of most available trades so let's go through them one by one a pound us dollar starts off and the average true range reading we're going for 79.6 pips you can see how the risk is calculated it's another round up again 0.04 lots and of course that's over three sub trades so really it's 0.12 volume total let's buy the market and we are in so we can simply set our stop loss and our take profit for all of these trades let's trade here a bit of faith on this one although price has receded from that high as long as we don't see this become an instant orange candle we don't want a one candle retracement let's have blue crack on you know even a run like this wouldn't be too bad something steep like that would be even more appreciated now let's do the cad swiss franc pair mine's a million miles away as i just enter sell trades and waste a bit of money there those are some fun kind of mistakes uh, just enter three sell trades when you want to get into buy trades wasted a few dollars there let's try that again and this time we haven't lost faith we're not trying to sell the canadian we're trying to buy it this would never happen if i was dealing with a real person let's buy the market and there we go 491 points 491 points plug that in sub trade b 491 twice that amount gets us to 982 and then sub trade c with the trading stop loss at 491 it's very wasteful i will tack those extra losses on whether we lose the trade or win the trade i will put those into the calculation unforced error all right let's move on to the new zealand dollar japanese yen pair and this is a buy trade as well let's just remind ourselves one more time it's a buy trade and our average true range for the kiwi yen 82.7 pips not much of a round off here 0 0.0403 not too shabby at all so we can go in at 0 0.04 and we want to be in a buy trade are we sure i think we're sure so let's punch it in as always and you can see we're in four trades now 12 sub trades that is our absolute maximum there are no other currency pairs out there for us to trade on so we just have to wait for something to happen on one of these hopefully we come back tomorrow and every single one of them's taken profit wouldn't that be nice and very lucky we'll be back tomorrow day eight let's take a look through our four trades first up the canadian dollar swiss franc that has triggered the stop loss 80 dollars and 28 cent loss across the three trades nine cent back on the swaps looks like we did get cut out quite near the low we would have been shutting it off anyway because the candles turned orange but that certainly would have been much less of a loss losing trade though new zealand dollar japanese yen this one's going okay we're down about five dollars a trade so 
We are back a little bit from where we started, but barely. It did come close to our stop loss, but thankfully we were able to dodge that. The candle is still blue. Obviously it priced still above the average and the awesome oscillator is still above zero. So we can just let this trade carry on. Pound US dollar, this is a buy trade. And unfortunately, as you can see, the candles have turned orange. The Heikinashi goes against us. So we will shut that one down manually now. There's been nothing on the swaps for it. It's going to be about $11 on each trade. And there they go. Could have been better. But like with a lot of these entries, we didn't have the most super convincing Heikinashi candle to get us in. So not surprised a couple of them turned sour on us. Some good news though, the Euro Australian dollar is still to our favour. Didn't quite take profit. I've only seen just now how close it got. Let's put that up on the 15 minute chart and see if we can see. Yeah, pretty close. Only about six or seven pips off. But still no change in the signals. We can keep this one running. And let's hope we actually get some profit from it ASAP. See what else is on the charts. US dollar Swiss franc is giving us a sell signal. Price below the average. Awesome oscillator below zero. And the candle goes orange. Not a big one, but we could consider it a start candle. That's all right. See if we can get down to this support level. But first, we will check if there's any other trades. We're fine to get in this one because we finished both a Swiss franc trade and a US dollar trade. We can see that there. Swiss franc CAD and pound US dollar gone. wonder if the pound CAD will have a signal for us. That would be cool. Well, the US dollar Canadian dollar is giving us a signal as well. Sell signal all the same. This I can actually... This icon actually is even less convincing, to be fair. And what do you know, the Great British Pound Canadian dollar is giving us a sell signal against the pound. Perfect stuff. All the signals lining up. That means we can forget about the US dollar Canadian pair. We can get into two new trades here, the US dollar Swiss franc and the pound cad. Let's do the US dollar Swissy first. Both these sell signals. 48.4 pips is the reading for one times ATR can see how all of that risk is calculated on the screen. One sell trade, three sub trades of it, 0.5% risk each. Let's set all those stop losses quick, just in case price takes a serious run against us. Come on, let's get them in. 484 points for all of them. Not quite that many, 484. And of course, the trail at 484 as well. And the take profit, one times ATR for sub trade eight. And two times ATR for the other. Not too bad at all. Like I said, we could do with some nicer high Kanashi candles that are leading us in. But it seems to have been one of those days where these signals aren't going to be super strong for us. We're in nevertheless though. Hopefully it goes to our favour. Now let's jump over to the pound card. This is a better signal, I think. Not completely flat top like you see in these candles here. What a run there. But uh, yeah, still pretty nice. Still sort of big low. The Bank of Canada had their interest rate decision today. That's why it's gone crazy. As soon as they released it at five o'clock, it smashed down to a low and then it's been popping back since then. Let's get the average true range up for the trade though. 102.8 pips for this one. Same dealio, risk on screen, quite the round down, going from 0.0344 to 0.03 each. If we get some round ups, we get some round downs. It happens. Sell trades again. And there we set all the stop loss and take profit as per the standard rules. That's, that second take profit level is a bit of a way off. Yeah, it's been a while since it got to that price level. That was over a year ago. Still no time like the present for a change. But the great thing about it all is that we are back in four trades just like that. Signals coming pretty regularly using all eight currencies again. We'll see how we're doing it in 24 hours time. Day nine and we do get to start with some good news. Subtrade A on the US dollar Swiss franc has taken its profit. That's one times ATR. So let's have a look at it on the history. $26.50. Got the take profit at 18 minutes past five. And price is still in that region. So it's looking quite good. Don't be fooled by the close of the Heikinashi candle. This is what we're looking at for price. The remaining two subtrades are $31.90 up. And we can also see the subtrade C, the trailing stop loss has kicked in so we're certainly not going to be taking a loss on that one if we can extend this run we'll start looking at some really nice profit potential good stuff and not too bad on the other charts let's take a look at them where well, the euro australian dollar did actually face a reversal against us not enough to flip the high and again we came so close to the take profit level down here of sub trade a if we saw price going to run up tomorrow it almost certainly would flip the high candles forcing us to close down the trade 
for the moment around about three dollars in profit and there's certainly potential for a price drop still new zealand dollar japanese yen same as yesterday hovering not really any movement either way on this currency pair it keeps the high kanashi candle blue but if it makes a real red day well it'll get the stop loss but if not it'll flip the candle anyway this is certainly not a powerful move at the moment very rangy but we can still hope for the breakout around two dollars a sub trade down on that one finally the pound cad this one has retraced against us again we still don't have to close it the haikon ashi is giving us the okay but each of those sub trades are twelve dollars 49 cents down so that's almost halfway to the stop loss need a return tomorrow again this is a sell trade so let's see red or well, let's see orange i suppose with the haikon ashi candles won't be able to take any trades as we're still in all eight currency pairs in four different trades but we'll have a look at the charts anyway to see if there's anything interesting the euro us dollar if you'd taken the sell trade signal there uh, maybe you'd have got to the one times atr take profit level but i don't think so and there's been a big retracement against you today what was once looking like a pretty good trade has suddenly soured the pound us dollar a long trade we were in here which we were forced to close the next day for a turn of an orange candle this is just yesterday we closed it well, it's now come blue again we can't take the signal because we opted into other trades already with these currency pairs but hey if you like dipping in that trades this is the chart for you at the minute the us dollar cad would be going kind of mediocre for you if you're in on that signal the sell signal yet to be decided on any front but a good thing on the australian dollar canadian dollar pair aussie caddy that we got knocked out of the stop loss when we did because it has continued to run blue since then i wouldn't want to be stuck in that one about now hoping for a resistance level and a bounce not ideal so that's it for the charts then we've got all four of our trades still open let's hope they can pull a rabbit out the hat we'll be back tomorrow right before the weekend day 10 not a bad day for us let's go through our trades we've got some part of all four of these still open the pound cad to begin with that's moved in our favor it's looking like it could have been heading for the stop loss at the end of yesterday but now it's back to the good and we're about seven dollars 42 cents up on each of those sub trades about a third of the way to the first take profit level absolutely fine for us to carry on with that us dollar swiss franc price retraced against us we're fine to keep the trade open but it did go back far enough that it was able to hit our stop loss out that's the trailing stop loss i should clarify and so that had already kicked into place so we did get seven dollars and 96 cent from it no commission no swap better to even get a little bit of money than no money but certainly would have liked to see that trailing stop loss go further so the only sub trade open left for it is sub trade b the stop loss at one times atr and the take profit at two times atr currently 13 dollars 98 cent in our favor absolutely fine new zealand dollar japanese yen nothing to write home about this one honestly this is three days in a row actually that day kind of did get close to our stop loss and but the last two days really no movement at all traders investors are happy to stay in this range here fair enough and finally the euro aussie dollar we were able to take profit on this one at the first sub trade sub trade a that triggered 31 dollars 72 cent for the trade and less 16 cent for the swap and it might be hard to tell because of where the close of the high kanashi candle is here but price is way down there so realistically it is not that far from the second take profit level and we can see where the trading stop loss has kicked into place as well at the moment those ones are 39 dollars to the good let's hope for a bit more out of them wouldn't mind seeing our first two times atr take profit that sure would be something can't get into any new trades because we're still trading on all eight currencies but we'll have a mooch at the charts anyway find out what's going on that's a volatile day if you're trading on the euro us dollar 150 pip movement there you can see big spikes on the high and the low and of course it is a sell trade as well if you are so inclined to get into that one pretty limp buy trade coming in on the canadian dollar japanese yen pair has had pretty strong runs we've been very aware of the way that these currencies have been moving against the yen uh, this looks very rangy here soft signal but if you want to take it in i'm not going to stop you sell signal on the euro cad as well so you've got choices here for selling off the euro well there we go we are starting to pick up pace now with the strategy finally starting to take some wins bit of a slow start but now things are rolling let's hope they just get better and better for us but it will be 72 hours before we're able to see how these trades are getting on after the weekend for now let's just check out the journal and get that overall picture of what's going on here we are in the journal it's been a busy week for trade entries this euro aussie dollar pair was monday three more added on tuesday the 26th we got kicked out of the pound us dollar and the cad swiss franc the cad swiss franc went all the way didn't enjoy that one but we got wildly spiked out by the bank of canada interest rate decision 
you could avoid those type of economic events and say, well, I'm not going to enter into them the night before. That wouldn't seem unreasonable. The pound US dollar, at least, it didn't go all the way. The high Kanachi candles reflipped, so it's only about third half of a loss somewhere in that range. And then finally, towards the end of the week, we started picking up some wins. We got the euro Aussie dollar came through on subtrade A. Same for the US dollar Swiss franc. And subtrade C, the trailing stop loss also triggered, although we didn't get a lot out of that one. This price retraced almost as soon as it kicked in. Happy to take some profit, of course, though. Plenty of active trades still to be resolved. And I'm sure plenty more entries to come as well. Let's come back in 72 hours, see if we're headed in that direction.